Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. For years on the channel, I've said that solid fuel is much underappreciated, whether it be on trail, in emergencies, or just around the house. I've tested quite a few stoves and different types of fuel options over the years, and we have a new one today to check out. Once again, I listened to my subscribers and I'm checking out the Fire Dragon from BCB. This comes with fuel tablets and you can also get fuel gel. So stay tuned, we're gonna check out this very nice stove which I actually think is better than the other stoves I've tried out. So stay tuned, we're gonna check out this very nice stove and pull some water. Now, Esbit stoves and Esbit fuel is kind of the classic solid fuel stove that you think about. Now, you can go back to just basic hexamine tablets that you can get in like army surplus stores. Those work as well. A company out of the West Coast called Expedition Research also makes very nice solid fuel tablets. I tend to use those very frequently. You can also buy different types of stoves from either Esbit. You can buy a very nice one from Expedition Research. And there are other stoves out there. You can also use other stoves that you may have like the Firebox Nano or even the larger Firebox box or many wood stoves will have some type of a solid fuel plate so just looking at the different types of solid fuels and not just the stove is something you should check out. Esbit cubes and Expedition Research cubes are 14 grams each they're made mainly out of hexamine. This stove and the fuel is a little different so let's start by looking at the stove. Here is the stove looks like your typical kind of solid fuel stove let's weigh it real quick. Dimensions in case you're wondering are 3.3 by 4.5 by one inch thick. Weighs four and one eighth ounces or 115 grams. Probably weighs a little bit less, maybe four ounces. It just has some residue from when I've burned in the past. It is made in the UK and is a military product approved by NATO. We'll open it up for you guys and you'll see something pretty cool. It has this wind guard. It says out right there, okay? And what you do, is that you set this up with that wing in the back. And look at that. I mean, it really closes off the back completely as a wind protection. That is a really nice feature, something different than any other stove that I've seen like this. You can pop it right up against it. You can see, you can open it if you want, but it pops right against there. And that also gives a lot of support. Something that can be an issue is that you, you don't have this piece and you put something, normally it'll hold the weight, but if it gets really heavy and pushes down on this, it could actually close the stove down. With this, it's not going anywhere. That is a huge feature of this stove. Inside, you can hold three different cubes. If I show you guys, the cubes kind of sit like this inside, okay? Or in this middle one, you can get all that junk out of there, which we'll do in a little bit. But it'll hold three, it will close just like that. It will also close with this right on top, so don't worry about that. A Little bit about these cubes, they are different than your standard Esbit cubes. As it says, they are green and clean solid fuel. These weigh 27 grams, which is about twice the weight of an Esbit cube. The main ingredient is ethanol. They also sell this gel, Fire Dragon alcohol gel. Okay, you just squeeze it in there. Since these are alcohol based, they take a flame very easily. It's not hard at all to actually get them lit, uh, which is nice. Sometimes when you're using Esbit cubes, it can be a little bit of a pain. We're gonna test both of these, and I guess since we have 27 grams of a tablet, we'll try to use the same amount, so 27 grams uh, for the cube, and we'll use 27 grams of the gel. Let me show you guys what it looks like outside in the dark, how nice the flame looks, and then we'll boil some water. So we put the uh, little alcohol cube in there. Let's light it up. There you go, really nice blue flame. This wind block in the back here is super nice. Show you guys, put a little light on it. You can see the wind block in the back. Really, really nice design. And a very nice blue flame from this pretty much natural product. We're gonna use one of these tablets first. Again, this is 27 grams of fuel. It's just a little fuel tablet. See if y'all can see it pop right in. Actually, I'll just put it on my hand. You can see. Looks like a cube of ice almost. There we go. Now, one of the cool things about this is sometimes you can get it started with just a spark like that. We're going to try it here in a second. I got everything ready. 
There you go. Put it right on there. Now no way, whoop, there you go, no way that you can get a Esbit Fuel tablet started with just a spark. So one of the benefits of this stove, let me turn down the light. Not much better, but you can see, let me turn off this light. Still not much better. What can I say, guys? There's the flame pattern. That's as good as I'm gonna do, right? All right, let's see how long it takes to get two cups of water to a boil, and then we're going to clear this out, and we're gonna try 27 grams of the gel fuel. Let's just take a moment and look at that absolutely beautiful flame. Once again, solid fuel, grossly underestimated. We're getting there. Pretty respectable time. As I always say when I test solid fuel, always amazes me at how well it does. So 7 minutes 56 seconds, 7.56. We're going to let that go, see how long it burns for. So 7.56 for a boil. Let's see how long it burns for. Seeing a little bit of a change in the color. It's definitely going to more of a yellow, so we're starting to lose a significant amount of heat, but we're gonna let it keep going a little longer. All right, guys, it's slowed down significantly. We'll just call it there, let's say 13 minutes. Um, it's still producing a little bit of flame, but nothing major. This thing never stops when I want it to stop. So 13 minutes, uh, well, there it goes, it just died. So 13 minutes is pretty much right on the money. We're gonna get the gel fuel in here and see if it is similar as far as results. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, 27 grams of the gel in there. We're gonna get it going. We'll see if we can get it going again with the uh, with the sparker. I've never tried uh, with the gel. I've always gotten the other. It should be the same. There we go. Took a few tries. Let's put that there. Start this. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we get a similar time and burn time as well as boil time. Well, there you go. Seven minutes, three seconds, faster than the cube. And there is still quite a bit there. So it'd be interesting to see how long it, uh, it goes for. So seven minutes, three seconds. Let's see how long she burns for. All right, definitely starting to lose our flame here. It burns much more cleanly than the cube. This leaves a lot less residue. I'm gonna say that's pretty much out right there, guys. Um, 12 minutes, 33 seconds. 12, 33 for a burn time. So let's review the results. Kind of interesting, and the reason that I wanted to do both the cube and the gel, they offer both, and I figured, well, is there a big difference? And there turned out to be a little bit of a difference. The fuel cube boiled two cups of water in seven minutes, 56 seconds, and the gel did it in seven minutes and three seconds. Now the cube burnt a little bit longer for 13 minutes, and the gel burned for 12 minutes, 33 seconds, not far off. So it looks like the gel probably burns a little hotter, and that's why it got the water to a boil faster, but since it burned hotter, it also ran out faster. There you go. So obviously looking at this stove versus say an Esbit or an Expedition Research stove, we have to look at the different types of fuel tablets because that's gonna make a big difference. So you would think that maybe because these tablets are twice as big as the Esbits that they would burn for twice as long. Well, that of course is not exactly how it goes because they're made out of different things. This is more of an alcohol-based fuel product, so it burns a little bit faster and a little bit hotter. The stove itself is well-made. I love the wind blocks. It's a very, very simple thing that will help your solid fuel stove perform better. It's compact, it fits right inside of it, it doesn't weigh hardly anything, and it makes a huge difference when you got this thing lit. Overall, the stove is compact, it's lightweight, and it gets the job done. The fuel tablets are great because they do not have an odor. They are fairly safe to put around food-based products. They're stored very well, sealed very well, so you don't have to worry about that. With the Esbit or the Expedition Research, you smell that little fishy flavor and you can kind of get all over everything. You don't have to worry about it with these fuel tablets. That said, these tablets do have two problems. They weigh more 
and they are bigger and bulkier. So if you're going to use them on trail, maybe you want to go with a different type of fuel tablet. I can tell you guys that for emergencies to have at home, I favor this. I like putting it inside of a bug out bag and it's going to take the place of my solid fuel stove in the bug out bag because of the fuel tablets. They weigh a little bit more, but they don't smell and they're sealed really, really well, which makes me comfortable. They're going to last a very long time. And as we said, they're also easier to light because they're alcohol based. You just need to get a little bit of flame on that thing and you're going to get it going. So what do you guys think? What do you think about this product? How would you compare it to your standard hexamine tablets from Esbit or Expedition Research? I like all of them to be honest with you. To me, the major benefit of this type of fuel is the ease of getting it lit. That may be important to some people, may not be to others. Look, if you're carrying a lighter, you can easily light up an Esbit cube, no big deal. It's just a personal preference thing, but as far as the stoves go, I really like this stove, and I could see myself using it on trail with an Esbit cube, for example, instead of the larger or bulkier ones from Dragonfire. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves, well over 100 videos there now, so make sure you check those out. If you're not subscribed, and I know a lot of my viewers are not subscribed, do me a favor guys, hit that subscription button, really helps out. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below, that also really helps tremendously. If you want to make sure you're notified when I release new videos, hit the notification bell and you will be the first to know. I do believe that solid fuel is fairly underappreciated. To be honest with you, I probably don't take it with me as much as I should. It works very well, it's clean burning, it's very hot, doesn't weigh very much and it's easy to kind of measure out your cubes as you go, really easy to know how much you need to take with you on a trip. Go back and check out some of the other videos on the other solid fuel tablets and stoves that I've used over the years. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.